All right, Dylan, thank you so much for that. Of course, we continue to track the latest conditions outside. ABC 36's Anna Medina joins us live in Lexington. She has the very latest on what she's seeing out there. Anna, it's actually looking a bit sunny where you're at, right? Yes, Erica, we're currently on Manowar, and by we, I mean Chris and Chris. All right, having some uh, difficulties trying to check in with Anna there. We'll keep you updated uh, as we check back in with her in just a moment. Next, though, we want to check in with our other reporter today who has been out in Frankfurt covering the very latest there from state and emergency management leaders all across Kentucky. ABC 36's Justin Walker joining us now live in Frankfurt with the very latest on how things are shaping up out there. Justin. Yeah, Eric, I can tell you it's very windy right now here in Frankfurt. We've been seeing some clouds roll through the skies. We're also seeing a lot of sunshine right now, and our meteor meteorologists have been keeping you all up to date as they continue to monitor these conditions. And they're also monitoring the conditions here at the Emergency Management Center. They're keeping a close eye on those skies today, and officials have been continually giving updates on as they monitor the impacts of these storms. Now, there are several state agencies here, including the Kentucky National Guard, meteorologists, and others that provide resources during severe weather. We're told federal resources like the Red Cross are available to assist if needed. Kentucky Division of Emergency Management Director Jeremy Slinker says that now is the time to put our severe weather awareness week plans into action. He's encouraging people to get indoors, find a safe place to take shelter in the lowest level of your home, away from doors and windows, or take shelter in rooms with strong support walls and beams. He says it's important to stay off the roads, but if you do need to travel, make sure you have an emergency kit ready in your vehicle. Overall, he says you should take this storm threat very seriously. I want to just take this opportunity to tell everyone it's real. So what was reported as possibilities are occurring now. We're starting to see some impacts in western Kentucky to include some radar confirmed tornadoes and other reports of tornadoes with some damages. So it's running, it's traveling east to west and everybody's kind of under a different timeline. So I did want to take the opportunity to sit down and make sure we get out. It is real. The possibilities are becoming reality. So everyone needs to take this storm very serious. And when it gets to your area before that, put those plans into action. Now, Slinker says to monitor your source of weather updates very closely, whether that's your ABC 36 meteorologist or your weather radios or your phone apps, just have multiple ways to stay weather aware. For now, live in Frankfurt, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. All right, Justin, thank you for that. I want to head back over to our meteorologist Dylan Godet and meteorologist Jordan Smith that are uh, standing by live here with all the latest coverage. We just saw Justin outside and the sun is shining, which uh, could be a little bit deceptive for folks, Dylan, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. As we've been talking about, that's where we're seeing the gustiest of the winds and where we forecasted we would see the gustiest of the winds into the afternoon and evening. 